Okay, let's see here. Case study 0002, Independence Day with musician Travers Gaunt. Um, aliens invade Earth and uh, give humans a choice to emigrate to a new planet or be killed. Uh, when most of humanity gives in to the demands, the President of the United States and a rogue militia fight back to expose the aliens' true plans. All right. Travers, how are you doing today? Um, not as good as earlier. Okay, okay. Um, I'm, I'm having, I'm having a little, uh, PSD, PTSD. I oh, mean. Uh, that's better than PSD. I don't know what PSD is, but I'm it's sure I'll find penile, senile disorder. That doesn't sound fun. It's, you know, I've heard it's not, I can't say. But, um, yeah, like, uh, I think I have a late night TV problem, so. Oh, I'm, I'm Okay. Do you want to talk about that? Um, does it have anything to do with um, Independence Apostrophe Day? Oh, good. That's that's the easy one. I, I didn't want to uh, go down the rabbit hole on forever, on watching my Forever Night box sets. So. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Well, let's just concentrate on this today. Okay. Okay. Um, how, how, um, how are you feeling after experiencing Independence Day? I I wanted to feel more patriotic than I do after watching mm, that. Uh, that's understandable. That I think that's a valid valid concern. Because I was I was I was looking for I think I was looking for a little more uh, nationalistic jingoism, and I I didn't quite get that. You didn't because I felt like that was um, plastered all over it and slapping me in the face. It was, but they. They kind of did it wrong. Oh, yeah, of course they did. It's the <laughs> asylum. They they did it very wrong. So it, it didn't, you know, I, I wanted to I, I wanted to walk out of the theater in my mind chanting <laughs> USA. I wanted to be like USA and I was just kind of like Alien, Alien, Orion, Orion. Yeah. Um I feel like um, regardless of how this movie ended, I feel like Orion was like the bad guy in Black Panther, where you're like, mm, he's got some good points. He's not wrong. I see. I felt like 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 Orion should have been a cat instead of like this beehive concept because sure. it acted much more like a cat. Oh yeah, like it wants to play with us. It wants, I don't, I don't, I'm not following. I mean, because the thing is, it doesn't really know what it wants to do with us, but it knows what it needs from us, but it's not even good at like figuring that out. All right, let's go through the movie. It starts off with these two army dudes, I guess. Ugh. And they get like a flat tire or some bullshit and they're like, oh, let's go. And the guy is like, oh, I'm not looking forward to this base. I hear it sucks. And I'm like, oh, that's so weird because I hear that every fucking military base sucks. That's so. But oh. that one. Yeah, that one. Ugh. It's in Colorado. <laughs> oh, gross. Isn't that what most of Colorado is if it's not a ski resort? Yes. And weed. And so they're like, oh, what's that? There's like a UFO. They see it and somebody shoots it down. Like it's like the only UFO that's shot down in the whole goddamn movie is at the beginning. Right. Am I wrong? There's actually shot. Yeah, because it's the, like there's some exploding UFOs, but not really shot down UFOs. Dude, this movie is stupid. <laughs> <coughs> oh. OK, so then it cuts to. Uh, the vice president giving a speech. I wasn't even in a gazebo. Goddamn <laughs> ah, God gazebo, like it's the music man. <laughs> yes. Or Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Arts Club, man. <laughs> yeah. Not even that good of a gazebo. No. That was a shitty gazebo. It was, it was just like. It was small. It was whitewashed. It can go to fucking hell. <coughs> I hate that gazebo. 
and I was like, oh, a woman vice president? Not likely, am I right? Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway. So her, um, her secret service guy is like, oh, we got to get in the car now. And she's like, why? What's going on? And she like, barely turns her head to see a giant ufo that's like 10 feet away from her like you didn't you didn't see that like you you really had to ask why we need to leave are you like really what's going on here lady do you have no peripheral vision do you not are you not familiar with the concept of aliens being maybe weird maybe scary what's going on woman she doesn't deserve to be the vice president is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, she's. She was really. Odd. <laughs> I mean, she kind of had this like. She she was going for like the Sarah Palin folksiness, but didn't have. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that until you said that. She, but totally, she totally had was. that, but without any of the anti charisma. Yep. Yes, she was. Yep. She just didn't have any there, there there was there is nothing endearing or train wreck watching about it. It was Yes. It was like if Sarah Palin was the mother from Seventh Heaven. Oh oh god, that hurt a little bit when you said that. She was like Sarah Palin if Sarah Palin was an actual human being. Wow, with more of a Wisconsin accent. Yeah. Because there was a total, there's mm -hmm. some total Scotty going on in yep. there. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so then we got two jets. They're going to intercept this quote-unquote spaceship, is what they keep calling it, which is like, seems like a bad term to use if you're in the government. I don't know, it just seems like it. And the thing I love the most about this scene is that the pilots, the... um. Air Force pilot, uh, military pilots, they had actual pilot voice. Like, I just watched an asylum movie about airplanes and pilots, and the pilot was like, hey, guys, what's going on? I'm talking to you, to the crew, blah, blah, blah. No, this guy had full-on... You know what? I totally picked up on that, too, and I'm glad you brought that up because I, I felt like that added a little more authenticity authenticity to this yes. film that was real and i'm like and it kind of reminded me of like you know kind of like the, the cool uh audio from like you know a lot of the modern star wars stuff like the mandalorian voice mm. or kylo ren or something because they have cool like they have genuinely cool sounding like walkie-talkie voices yes they know and what it, they're doing they don't put any sort of emotion into it they're just like here are the facts and there's just a little there's just enough of the Yes, we got a we got a bandit on your tail. Like <laughs> just the facts. I'm gonna cover your ass there. You know, it's like yes, they got CB voice. Yeah, and you know what? I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. I gotta say, it like, really stood out because yes, everything be else because is so it was the realest thing in this movie. <laughs> God damn it! Okay. So then, of course, um, the best part of the movie gets blown up. The pilot. And the other pilot. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't, I don't know if it was supposed to be funny, but it made me laugh really hard. <laughs> when they blew up. Yes. <laughs> Very serious. Uh, pilot voice. Uh, we've got this thing. Uh, and you're blown up. Woo! Love it. And I gotta say that for Asylum movies, the special effects were gorgeous. I, I have to agree. Um, and I felt that way until they got into the spaceships. And the more you look inside <laughs> the spaceships. No, 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 no. I'm talking about this one moment. Okay. Let's, let's not talk about close-up magic. We're just talking about faraway explosions. And that is like... That is some premium subscription phone apps. That is not like the free version with ads. Oh no, they got Roxio for that. Uh huh. No, that they, was they, like for real shit. They 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 paid like a month. Mm -hmm. They got the month plan mm -hmm. for like twenty mm -hmm. bucks. Mm -hmm. 
you know, they, they got some cool, because those were like Roxio flames. It was, you know, gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. And it was like all outer space because they were blue flames and stuff. All right. And then next, we see a giant spaceship over the White House. Blow it up. Blow it up. Blow it up. So they did. That was pretty. Um, you, you know what pissed me off about not the blowing up of the White House? Because that was no. fucking awesome. Fuck yes. And the, the president seemed like a douchebag anyway. Oh, yeah, for real. And um, but what pissed me off was like when they were reporting it to people, they didn't say they were just saying, oh, the White House got attacked. No, the White House didn't got to get attacked. It got fucking leveled. It got blowed the fuck it up. It was blowed up really good. Mm. Real good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I didn't there realize. There was no White House after all. Oh, no. I mean, it was. God bless them. God bless the aliens. God bless the Orions. Um, I didn't realize until way later that that guy that was the president was the president. Like I had no fucking idea. I wasn't sure because I thought I thought the vice president was the vet was the president until I don't know because they kept calling her the vice president and it's like <laughs> a woman can't be president. What are you an idiot? Of course she was the vice president. Don't be stupid, Travers. <sighs> <laughs> hey, it's it's future. And um, uh, one thing I wanted to say though about the the, the quality of this film compared to the uh, some of the other uh, works of Asylum. Um, I felt was remarkably mediocre. (laughs) High praise. Like, I feel like if this came on sci-fi channel Uh at one in the morning, like, you know, coming home from a bar or whatever and eating a a burrito and this was on sci-fi, it would be like, this is exactly what I want to watch right now. Absolutely. I can't even say that I hated this movie as much as I hated other movies. This was prime mediocrity mediocrity and i i couldn't agree more i really liked this movie (laughs) i would definitely watch it again it did not make me want to pierce my eyeballs then that almost made me upset because i wanted to hate it more oh no no Uh, but it was like i understand what you're saying but and I, I do hate it a lot for how it ended, but I still really liked it and enjoyed yeah. my time with it. We had a nice like uh, sleepover. We had a nice like some. We had some conversations. They were like, whatever. It was just like a nice time together. It you wasn't had some easy the best time on, in my uh, life. Wheat thins. Absolutely. Not Triscuits. You didn't no, get no, the no, no, not no, Triscuits. No, 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 no. Not as good as Triscuits, no, no. but it's wheat thins. Well, the 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 cookie of the cracker that's not quite a cracker, not cr- quite a cookie, and they're both sucky, but it's still decent either way. It's 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 mediocre on many levels. Yeah. And I appreciated that because it didn't fucking suck. <sighs> But one thing that um, we really need to get to on this movie is yeah, uh-huh. the whole premise. Well, okay. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to hold on to that thought. Sure. Because before the White House was blowed up, the president, I don't know if you caught this because I barely pay attention when I watch these movies. The president put like a weird blue light up to his eyeball. And then the next shot was the White House blowing up. And they never talk about it. Like he put some weird thing up to his eyeball. Oh yeah, he was doing some retina scan or something. Yeah, but like and it's never referenced ever, not once. It they show it, but never talk that's about it. Right. And I want to know what the fuck he was. Doing. I got my monkey brain got distracted because while that was happening, it's like, oh, what's going on? It's like, oh, it's blowed up. But oh, they must be in a bank bunker in the basement. Yeah. Because something was happening with his eye. But. Right. Then I totally forgot about it until you just mentioned it. Yeah, yeah. Because it was like totally random and it is never mentioned again. I want to know. Well, I don't think the uh, the um, asylum riders are, are hip to. Uh, uh, continuity. Well, not only. Well, yeah, yeah. Continuity. They can't even grab a continuity, but uh, the whole concept of uh, Chekhov's gun, which is. <laughs> yeah. To show something, it's gotta. It's it's it's. it's you it's, gotta have somebody shot in the last scene. Yeah, 
No. All right. I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Please continue. Oh, well, but, well we're on the timeline of the movie, so 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 it all works, but I'm glad you, you brought that up. Um, because then you have um, the malicious. Oh, my God. Which I know that what was really great about this militia was that um, A, mm -hmm. they knew all the militias. <laughs> <laughs> they were in we're getting, we're getting the militias together and no one knew about this this alien invasion mm -mm. but all of a sudden they had a name uh -huh. and it wasn't like <laughs> we're gonna call ourselves something and the best part was that they were afraid of copyright infringement uh -huh. from a radical from radical earth first which i was <laughs> a part of as a teenager and they called themselves first, first earthers Earth. <laughs> which doesn't make any sense okay 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 Okay, you just put so much on the table here that I need to unpack. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, so, okay, what? Like, yes, I never even, like, considered how do all these militias know other s fractions? Like, is this one militia or is it many militias that know other militias? And, like, I, I wrote down, like... <sighs> Oh my God. What is it? What do they call themselves? First Earth. Earth. First Earth. I was like, <laughs> did they say it wrong? Because it, it sounds wrong. It yeah. should be Earth first. Like, but that first Earth is like, was a real group. We're the only Earth. Like, we're the first one. <laughs> no, no, you're saying, no. Are you saying, okay. All right. Oh, you're going to go with that. All right. So they're afraid from getting sued from uh, hippies who don't copyright anything <laughs> because Earth first considered itself a movement, not an organization. Of course. They were like the environmental antifa of the 80s. <laughs> All right. So when they introduce this, it's when they're like, they're at a shooting range or some bullshit. I don't, I don't <laughs> care. And um, one of the main earth firsters or first earthers, whatever the F, they, she's like, hey. <laughs> uh wasn't your brother assigned to the president, blah, blah, blah. So like, basically like, why didn't she say like, oh shit, your brother just got blown up. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, she's just like, Meh, isn't that weird? And he's like, oh uh, yeah, um, yeah, thank mm -hmm. Then he gets a motive for a second. Damn it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we gotta do something about this. Oh yeah, that's probably, my brother is probably dead. Huh, that's weird. <sighs> anyway, should we like fuck this movie? No, don't. No, I love this movie. I don't. No, no ill will. But I also I think that um this militia. I think that um that head guy whose brother is probably dead now. I think that if Randy Quaid were to see this movie, he'd be like, that part, that's me. I am that guy in that militia. Are we familiar with Randy Quaid? Well, I mean, he was in Mars Attacks. And he was in um, Independence Day. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. I see it. Like Mars Attacks and Independence Day were like the same, the same movie. movie. <laughs> so I like sometimes my brain gets blurred because I haven't watched either in probably 15 years. Sure, sure. Or 20 or 30 or whatever. Yeah. Um, so Randy Quaid was in Independence Day. He uh, okay. was like this weird drunk. That yeah. In the end, he like foiled the alien. I don't remember. But basically, wait. He was like a fighter pilot. Was he, he in both? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But he had this crop airplane, blah, blah, blah. But also uh, in IRL, Randy Quaid, are we familiar with IRL. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah, he's. So in my head, Randy Quaid has seen this movie and been like, "Man, they wrote this part for me, and it, I am so awesome, and I am like the head of this militia, and all the Hollywood elite doesn't even know what's going on because I know what's going on, and they know that I know that they're all killing all of the Hollywood people that are not the elite." So basically, what I'm saying is. Randy Quaid loves this movie. But he probably lobbied to be in it, but they wouldn't pay him enough. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He would have, I seriously, 
They did not. No. He would have done this for pennies on the dollar. If I'm he saying he sport. lobbied to be in it, but I think he wanted more money than no. He, he's than in Canada. He's in Canada. He doesn't <laughs> need money. <laughs> Canadians don't need some money. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. So they get a transmission from the quote unquote the Orions. I love them. Uh, and they, I, they're they're fake Cylon voices, like seventy oh Cylons. Oh my god, I love it so much. They are amazing, and they give them their like their spiel. They're like, "Oh, you guys fucked up the planet. We're gonna save you, and we're gonna take you here, and we're gonna heal you, and blah blah." blah. And I'm like, "Win, win, win, win." Let me subscribe to your newsletter because I fucking love you guys. Take me with you. They want to blow up the government. They're like, oh, yeah, we're going to blow up every government, every capital. Everything's gone. And then when that's done, we're going to take all of your people, all of humanity, and we're going to take them to a better place. And the president's like, wait, no, that sounds bad. No, I don't know. What? And I'm like, no, fuck you. I don't care. I Just fucking take me. I want this to happen, and I want to be on that fucking goddamn ship. On a side note, that's not a side note. This was a promise I grew up with as a child. (laughs) Well, if you grew up in an evangelical household, this would be the rapture. And so I also kind of did grow up with that. Um, But there were no people left out in this scenario. But see, this was exactly what my mom was predicting uh-huh. and said that that her spirit guides were telling her that uh, the aliens were going to come. Yeah. And they were going to take all the shitty people away yeah. and they were going to make these hologram projections of a comet. And they were going to take all the shitty people away and all the cool people would get Earth, all the artists and musicians and stuff. I don't want Earth. Take me somewhere better. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Her fucking spirit guides suck. Well, they were going to take plenty of people away. <laughs> they just brought back fun memories, you know. Oh, yeah. You got some, like, cozy. <laughs> yeah. Aww. like, Oh, man, I was going to get taken out of school for that. <laughs> Best part. Best part of the apocalypse? No school. <laughs> okay, so... The, okay, so what the uh, Orion also say is that if you don't come with us and like to where we're going to take you, they're going to exterminate every other human on Earth, which I do not condone mass extermination. But if you don't want to get vaccinated and you just happen to die for whatever reason might happen that your death might happen because you don't get vaccinated that's on you so if you're not willing to get on a spaceship that promises to take you to the best place ever um i don't know disney world and universal studios and heaven and wherever that's on you i can't no that's on you I'm Team Orion all the fucking way. Well, they kept changing their story. I mean, they they were they were. That's why I, I think they were like cats, because they're like <laughs> they're just kind of like saying it's like, oh, we're gonna do this if if we're gonna exterminate you if if you don't get into ships and we take you somewhere cool. Yeah. And then it's like, but I mean, the the reveal at the end. I don't want. Oh, I don't want to go about, there. Yet. We're, we're, we're I don't know. I don't want to get there yet, but it's like there's a lot of mixed messages from the Orions. Well, you know, they they, they don't. (laughs) Okay. They can't even remember what they were saying (laughs) each message they send. They don't remember the last one. I'm sure if you gave them a little bit of tuna, you could see like heaven and new colors. And (laughs) okay. So what we didn't mention before is that the now president, Madam President, uh, her son has uh, a disability where he needs uh, crutches. And they are promising that if they trust her, they will heal him. And um, I got to say, I didn't believe for a second that he needed those crutches. He was not that good of an actor. Oh, man, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah we'll keep going. Not to interrupt. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was like, oh, what? They're going to heal me? And they're. He's not. I have so many issues with Bobby, 
who is the son. That fucking kid. That fucking <laughs> teenage kid who is obviously has no disability. <laughs> I, I'm starting to think it's like a Munchausen thing at this point because no, absolutely not. He, no. And then he goes into this like weird pod. It looked like no, it looked like the pod from the fly. It absolutely did. I, uh, yeah. I was and just I, like, that was my first thought. I was just like, oh man, he's going to turn into a fly. That awesome. would have been dope, but no. He gets in there and he's like, oh, owie, owie. And then like everyone's like, oh no. He's in pain. Well, healing takes pain. You know what I'm saying? So then he gets out and he's like, oh, I'm all better. I can walk like a normal person. I'm, I don't even know if he says that, but he had the vibe of normal person. I think he actually he, said that. It it tracks. Or just felt like it. It tracks because he had that whole normal person vibe. Like, ugh. Oh, gross. no. He was, he, he, he was not that normal. I mean, the way that he was like emoting with his mom was really weird it was really There's some weird really weird moments with that kid that kid was like really like i think i think the the the, the actress was actually breaking character like <laughs> what this dude <laughs> like dude easy easy i really and honestly i'm all for i'm team orion all the way however i kind of wanted them to kill bobby I kind of wanted it to because like there was absolutely absolutely no pushback. There's no no it was just like everything's awesome in this movie. There's no there's no bad things. Everything's good in this movie. Let's go for it. Team Orion. And then they healed him. And I was like, but all right. See, I was that I was like hoping that Bobby would at least be more like, you know, Hitler youth for the aliens. Cause he, he was going that way. <laughs> he but was. Then- but no, he was still pretty Team Orion. He yeah. was pretty Hitler youth. But also, they, there was a smell. The, oh, man, the, the smell. And they really built up the smell. And I love when a movie has a smell in it. Because, well, all right, if you say so. It's something else we don't have to spend money on. <laughs> it's another special effect that we don't have to buy. <laughs> They didn't. I mean, geez. oh, except for the uh, the juice. <laughs> oh wait, what was that juice? The juice was called. Uh, what was it? C H five N. Oh man, I, I I had to flip a lot of pages to get to C H five N, and that that's that's. Oh, how about that doctor? That guy was a creep. <laughs> he was man. He he like. No, no, I had a really good line about that guy. Um, well, I also wanted to mention we ha- we haven't talked about Bobby's father, aka what I refer to him as Senator Husband, because <laughs> like at the beginning when Senator Husband sucks. Oh, he's awful, and the worst. Soon as, uh, she's he was so mad that his wife was sworn in, and it took a while for me to realize that he was actually her husband, or, and I just had not no some. Idea. Be- yeah, it was like. Wait, is that wait, wait. his kid or her kid? It's like, no, no, no. Their kid? I knew they were married. I did not know he was a senator. Like, the nepotism in this movie makes me want to barf because it's realistic. I hate yeah. it. But yeah, so I just refer to him as Senator Husband. And that's what we will be doing from now on <laughs> because it is accurate. <laughs> he's, he's, he's such a scumbag. There's After um, his son gets healed, they're outside the spaceship. God damn it. This fucking movie. Uh, and he's like, we got to get out of here. Senator Hesman says, we got to get out of here. It's dangerous. And then they do a, a cutaway shot of just some random people walking on the street with signs that we can't read. Oh, oh no. I read one. One of my <laughs> favorite ones said, heck no, we won't go. <laughs> <laughs> okay don't <laughs> I, 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 no, no I wrote that right here because I was like so happy that that uh, that that it's a family film <laughs> and it's a, a militia for the whole family because <laughs> I, I, one thing I wanted to bring up about the militia is that you know the this is like a Disney militia um, <laughs> it was very multi uh oh very you know yeah. you had a Latino woman that uh-huh. seemed like she was kind of number two sure um, 
still number two. You know, yeah, he still yeah. had the the white guy with the still with the bad nineties Al- Alice in Chains beard braid going on. Oh my on. god, those braids! <laughs> I just wanted to pull on them, not in a sexual way. <laughs> I hope not, because they're, <laughs> they're they're just they got they're they're just not good, and that, yeah, you had people of color in that militia. I'm like, this isn't like any militia that I've seen on the nightly news. No, they but they were just as stupid as the ones on the nightly news. They weren't bright. No, I hated them. I hate this movie. God damn it! I love it, and I hate how conflicted I am because I love the Orion. So much. And the militia, I hate how fucking validated the militia get. They're just like the worst. They're like Clive and Bundy extra. Like the worst. We're going to do stuff the way that this fucking country was fucking. Shut up. I hate you. (laughs) It's so, this movie is so nationalistic and so. But you know what? The only thing that could save this planet, America. <laughs> you know, the only thing that can save America, militias. I fucking hate this. <laughs> oh, then like uh, one thing I loved was how you had Senator Husband was going behind uh, his wife, the president's back by calling. Uh, he called the militia guy. Yeah. He just has he just has his <laughs> fucking contact in there, and the militia guy is under attack by those little drones from right, the spaceships, right. and he picks up his phone like, "What is it?" And it's like, <laughs> "Hold on, I gotta take this." <laughs> Don't shoot me, delays space drone. <laughs> and it's just like, man, are they are they tight? I really want to know about more about their relationship. I mean, I know oh. he's the brother. I, that was the whole pretense, I oh, guess. Right, right, right. The shoehorn pretense of like, oh, he's the brother of a Secret Service guy. Which means the senator has his phone number. That makes total no. sense. <laughs> and then, okay. So they're they're trying to get transmissions from the Orion. And they pull up some, and I was so not following this, and I had no interest in doing such. Oh, the IT guy that yeah, was yeah, just yeah. shoehorning in ideas. Like- and Bobby's like looking over IT guy's shoulder, and he's like, "Whoa, this looks weird. Really, Bobby? Really? the The weird alien transmission looks weird. That's so weird, Bobby. Fuck you, Bobby. You're on my list, Bobby. <laughs> oh yeah, that kid fucking sucks." <laughs> Okay, so that whole scene, but like, like the, around that time, though, is like you had the whole scene where, for some reason, I mean, this this movie had really bad science. Like, what? You were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. You're. I mean, I wrong. couldn't even. I couldn't even like figure out in like TV science terms, you know? Because it's just Enhance. like. I'm, you know, I'm way for the suspension of disbelief. Oh, you mean like how when something happened that I don't understand and then the oxygen was cut off and then within minutes, everyone is passing out. Yeah. There's no oxygen, even though it's only been like five minutes. You yeah. mean like that that's, kind of that's science? That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like couldn't figure out what was going on that scene. And they couldn't override a valve with their computer. So they had to manually override a valve. Is that what you mean by I, bad science? And your friend, yeah. When you mean by manually, it was was Bobby kicked someone <laughs> was trying to put a lever in like <laughs> what looked like a 1920s like garden valve, you know? Because valve. that's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Valve for a garden hose, <laughs> and with a crank or something st- stuck in it, and he he stepped on uh-huh, it and yeah, saved yeah. the day. And then everyone who was passing out just starts, oh, I'm oh, fine. Oh yeah, now. it's fine. It's fine because we have oxygen now. Because we didn't have oxygen for like two minutes, even though like. It, apparently there's a vacuum in this room if uh, oxygen isn't constantly pumped into it it's being sucked out for some reason because that makes no sense anymore. okay yeah I, I couldn't understand what was going on there and then the militia are like okay we're gonna bring the c4 into this spaceship <laughs> i bet they can't like 
I can't, but they won't be able to detect the C4. And I wrote down, <laughs> this is one of my favorite notes ever because, because C4, more like, and then I didn't do anything. <laughs> Well, and then I wrote, I can't wait to find out what this smell is. Because everyone keeps saying, oh, what is that smell in here? And one thing I wanted to say about the, the interior of the spaceship, um, what I loved was that they had uh, these like blue poles that look like <laughs> wraps of plastic tarps what? and then covered with chicken wire. No, that no. And then like the rest of it looked like it was filled in like an AV cage in a high school basement. <laughs> And then they had to make it like a spaceship. Well, if we have these blue poles of plastic and we put black chicken wire around it, it'll look, it'll look future. And those, those weird camera guy robot things. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like they were the uh, ones the communicating. On the yeah. There was a few shots of those where they could not focus on that or the person in the scene. So I was like, my eyes were having a really hard time adjusting. That's aside from the point. What? What I I kept thinking, this looks like this looks like the set of Red Dwarf. Like Ah, oh, that's that's yeah low that's budget totally. sci fi generic spaceship. Yeah, like the whole like those BBC shows like <laughs> like uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who, that whole era. Uh huh. Everything is dark and utilitarian. But look, but see they did a good job with me. They they like ex- they had fun with the low budget. Oh, yeah. Like, and this wasn't fun looking. No, this was just like, I don't know. Chicken wire, fine. Fog machine. <laughs> They're in a spaceship. We need fog. Because there's always fog in space. Here's some spray paint. Just silver. Just whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Put it's some red spaceship. lights under there. <laughs> no, it looks like the uh, the AV cage. It's a spaceship. Turn off the lights. It's a spaceship. I don't know what you guys aren't getting. It's a fucking spaceship. And one thing I also want to say is, like, whenever they go into the spaceship, everyone just walks into the spaceships. There's no sentries. There's no aliens. No. And. That made me mad. Yeah. It's just like, wait, they have all. They're just letting these humans just walk around their spaceship. Right? And, and, then, and then they didn't. Something exploded. I don't they know. Had like a, well, they had, like, a laser eye in the ceiling. Uh, uh, that scanned them. That was, like, an ATM camera. <laughs> And then they explode the C4 or whatever, and they're outside the spaceship. Like, mm-hmm. And then ah, and then the senator calls them, or the guy, the head guy, and he's like, it's Fubar, sewer. Like, come on. <laughs> really? You're going to? Okay. It, yeah. Okay. Yes. It is fucked up beyond all recognition. You are correct. But really? I don't that whole line makes me sad. <laughs> I love how the, how the Orions though, like every time they, they got attacked, it's all like, okay, that wasn't cool guys. Now you're all exterminated. And then it's like <laughs> the, the president be like, wait, 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 we're, we're trying to get these militia motherfuckers in line. And then the aliens would be like, all right. All right. That it's like, that sounds, that is sufficient. <laughs> like, Okay. We won't exterminate you. But don't press our buttons, you guys. It's like there was so much indecision, but it was it was like the aliens. It's like they 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 couldn't decide. That's why I think they were cats because they couldn't decide <laughs> whether they they wanted to be adorable and humanitarian or antagonistic. It's like oh my they were god, kind of both when you once, put it like, like that, they are cats. They, yeah. I love them so much, but they keep biting. Yes. Let me just pet your tummy. <laughs> no. Okay. So then some of the, oh, I didn't realize it till later, but the guy from the very first scene of the movie, who's going to the new base. That's weird or horrible or bad. I don't remember what he said. He's the one who figured out the C H five N. The smell is, I'm still confused. The smell is ha- the key. He said it was a pheromone. Yeah, I know. I get that. It's a pheromone. I mean, that's Fine. what he said it was. That's, right. I'm just but quoting. it's what? It's the key. It's the password. It's yeah. like, it makes no fucking sense. Like, they communicate through this pheromone. I get that they're aliens and their tech is going to be weird and different. But no, 
Absolutely not. Well, they didn't have zombies, so they couldn't use zombie blood. True. So they're so it was basically mm. like, man, we want to have zombie blood because that'd be cool. So what if we did like some stinky pheromone thing? Oh, I love pheromones. I got a cologne with pheromones in it, so it's like <laughs> chicks totally dig me when I wear it. Shut up. But it hasn't worked so far. <laughs> And then somebody comes with like an alien hand that's been frozen since 2003. Mm. Thank you for bringing that up. You're very welcome. I wanted to talk about that box. <laughs> it's a paper shredder that you can get at Staples for like 60 bucks. And then he opened it up and it had dry ice and a frozen hand. <laughs> uh, oh, but what a hand it was. <laughs> I, you know, I, I thought that the, the, me the mechanism to opening and closing that box looked very familiar and high tech. I was like, wow, they really like spent a lot of money on that box. That's like a for real, like safe holding, freezing cryogenic box. That's really nice. And also, I guess, a paper shredder. Yeah, it totally looks like the $60 shredder. <laughs> you know, they didn't cheap out on the 40 that just goes. They didn't get the one that just goes over the top of your wastebasket. Right, right. No, that was a for real. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the the, the, the self-contained unit. Kudos, Asylum. Um, so I, I'm, I'm still kind of sad that the body or the um, the smell. That should have been dead bodies. It should have been a cookbook scenario where how to serve man or how to serve man dinner or how to serve man for dinner. It should have been that situation, but it was just pheromones and that really bums me out. I wanted dead bodies. Yeah, there's some that see everything in that movie kind of felt like it was going for it. But yep. trying, but like walking around going for it. Yeah. Even though like the militia felt that way. Like, Absolutely. Like everything felt that way. It's just like, oh, we. We got this super awesome, cool thing that we're not going to touch. We're going to go a little bit left of there and it's going to be a little bit more boring, but a little bit more palatable for nobody. Yeah, it was like they were trying to find a, a lowest common denominator that doesn't exist. Absolutely. Yep. And then they uh, finally find an alien and some uh, wreckage. And they, the guy's like, can you do an op autopsy? And he's like, fuck yeah, I can do an autopsy. Oh, he had the best shitting grin on his face. He's just like, <laughs> well, that's right. That's the, thank you for bringing that up. Because I was actually looking for that note. And it was the biggest alien reveal letdown in the world. Like, they're just like, they show. Like nothing. It was just like, uh, here's a spine. And you like, you don't get to see its face. It's just like, here's some party city alien statue that we sell <laughs> every year. No. Like, no. It's just the hand that you put like under the door coming out from underneath <laughs> the door. The one that has a motion detector on it. So when you try to grab the candy, it grabs your hand. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> and then they find out. Okay. We are we're going, we're finding out their secrets with their um pheromone technology. I, I still don't get, but whatever. And he finds out that what they're doing with the people that they're collecting. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> they, um, they <laughs> the graphic was awesome. <laughs> it looked like a Scientology like VHS. <laughs> Okay, so the um the the new world that they're going to transport all of humankind to is they're going to jettison them into space. <laughs> they're basically killing all of humanity. And you know what? I'm still kind of on board. <laughs> still don't hate it. Well, that's one of the, that's actually one of the things that, that that I liked about it is because what what the alien what the Orions are doing. It just keeps changing. It was, it was like, 
I felt like there were like 10 script writers. Oh, I'm sure. There were. Which, which might account for the, like, oh, are we really going to go for it? Because I don't know what the last guy I had intended. <laughs> because I'm about the fourth in line. No, now. no, no, no. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep, just write, just write. But what did the last guy? No, just, just keep going. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the last guy was thinking. Cause then when they, well, the whole scene, and this is where I think Bobby was at his creepiest, uh, one of his creepiest moments, because that kid was just fucking creepy as fuck. <laughs> but when uh, the the Orions demanded that the president go on the spaceship, uh, and the kid was all, um, he he was just so emotive. Um, oh no, I was thinking at the end when he's just like bawling. It's just that's like, yeah, it bro, was, settle down. Yeah, he was. There's something men aren't supposed to have emotions. Just. <laughs> Not like that. Not like that. That's not like anyone. No, no, no. Those were, he looked like an, maybe that's what it was. Maybe when they healed him, they turned him into an alien and that's why he acts weird. And I wish <laughs> that would have been so much cooler. <laughs> exactly. And then like the militia guy is sitting down with his second whatever. And he's like, what? Like you think aliens are going to help us and like, do us like whatever they're here to hurt us and i'm like mm, you sound like a nationalist asshole oh totally i am not rooting for you i know i know orion's plan and i still am rooting for them because you suck no this is not good oh i do want to mention that when they were when one of the times that the the militia were in a spaceship and then you know, a lot of people wanted to get on the spaceship because the president's kid, because creepy oh, yeah, Bobby yeah. got got all healed, healed and fixed. Everyone wanted to get on the spaceship. And when they were uh, breaking down the barriers, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you just saw someone like push over a police barrier. And it just falls. There's no smashing. <laughs> no. And there wasn't like a rush. You just see like people walking. Like, yep. I mean, I've seen black Fridays much, <laughs> much more violent and intense than that. I mean, that's just like, yeah, I wrote down if fall. 2020 has taught me anything, police are going to use violence for just about anything, especially nonviolent people trying to get past a barricade. Oh yeah. It was a ridiculous scene. It was just like, <laughs> we're going to walk now. Nope. <laughs> Wait. And the police are like, what gives? <laughs> They're like, how did this happen? And then the next shot is like uh, an overhead shot. And it looks like fish streaming into like a canal, like the most ridiculous animation that never needed to happen. Just yeah, that get was like really a odd. couple dozen people to just walk. You don't need to animate that because they, it looks animated. They couldn't afford the extras. The people, oh my god! Because I mean, I'm sure the extras that they obviously used were they like, can't afford the extras. Just ask your friends to do it. Come on. No, those were like all the other extras that they did use for some of those scenes. The the small, the crowds, the small crowds. <laughs> Um, Heck no, we won't go. <laughs> those were the gaffers, and those those are all just like, you know, techs. And then even they were like, "Wait, wait, I'm not getting paid for this." <laughs> and that's when they had to get the CGI of the people. Because are you going to at least give us lunch? No, no, I'm not doing like, that. Wait, you're not even getting the subway platter. <laughs> we're, we don't get like the thirty foot long subway. The non tuna subway. Come on, <laughs> that's all I'm asking. Okay, so then there's at some point some scientist develops a virus to say the autopsy guy. Oh, okay, it's the same autopsy. Yeah, guy. it's autopsy guy. He is able to de develop a virus or something to infect these aliens. He just said a pathogen. Like it was a, a matter of like an hour or yes. so. He's just oh, like, not even. oh yeah, no problem. I got this. So what we're supposed to believe <laughs> is that this scientist can kill all of these aliens in a matter of a little minutes and um, COVID happened naturally. Okay. So what <laughs> I'm saying is COVID was made by the government and that's all I've got. Well, I wanted to say about the, but also that scene with, uh, with, 
with with the science autopsy guy yeah. was that while he was developing the virus he's wearing a mask at a table by himself, <laughs> but there's people like two feet away from him. No one else is wearing a mask and he's developing a deadly fucking virus and everyone's just hanging out. And then he's all like, Hey guys, I figured it out and takes off his mask. And it's like, this was made like three years ago. So yes. it's, you know, hindsight's 2020. So it just makes it even that funnier. Too. That and also it's like they like could this be dangerous to humans? He's like, oh, yeah, like they never really <laughs> maybe <laughs> it could be. I don't know. Here, but take it and kill all these guys. But we're cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, all right. <laughs> Hey, this guy is all about alien autopsies. So, and he definitely, he was definitely a little too excited if you catch my drift. He definitely is my favorite. Okay, so then the aliens or Ryan are like, uh, uh, Lady President, you need to get on our spaceship and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, cool, I'm going to infect these guys. <laughs> oh, my God. So she gets on the spaceship. She gets on. They get on. They're like, blah, 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 boring stuff. She gets on the main thing, and they're like, okay, go to the corridor on your left. <laughs> Did you notice this? <laughs> follow the path <laughs> stick to your left and they go which way do they go Travers it was not left they go right and I think that might be my See, favorite I didn't even catch part. that because it was, it was that point it was probably about one in the morning so I'm like <laughs> finally something's happening <laughs> yeah no no finally they're going the wrong way and I love that so much because it's like what I live for in these movies. Yeah. And I so rarely get to see it, but it was a blatant misdirection <laughs> that was unintentional. Thank you so much. I love it so much. I also want to mention that when they were on the mothership or the hive ship, as they called it, yeah, uh, the poles of plastic wrapped in chicken wire on that ship were pink. <gasps> I don't know what that means. I don't know either, but there was a different because all the other spaceships, the, the oh, poles and chicken wire, wire were it's blue. The mothership. Pink mm -hmm. means ladies. Yep. And the other ones were boy ships. Just like cats are girls and dogs are boys. Yep. <laughs> and Stork brings pink. Yep. Mm -hmm. For the girls, uh -huh, blue for uh -huh. the boys. So the president is on the mothership, obviously in front of a green screen. <clears throat> And there are pods, and I am I'm totally confused on were there aliens in the pods? Were there people? Those in the are the pods? people. The people that already went on the other ships. Yeah, or maybe there were people. It was never really clarified. Yeah, it was just like, they were just but like, you know, the Orion was just like, yeah, those are your people. <laughs> well, yeah, and they're and, like, okay, here's the here's the deal, Madam President. Okay, yeah, 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 we're killing everybody, but we need humans for fuel. Cool. Cool. Okay, cool. Which then again goes back to the fact that they are cats because, wait, if they need humans for fuel, why were they talking about like exterminating and blowing it up and just har why aren't why weren't they just harvesting them in the first place? Uh, that see that that's uh, like the, they're toying with us like cats. That's that's why I keep. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'm totally seeing your point of view now. They're talking about this beehive culture. It's like, but they're acting like cats. cats. Bees, bees are fucking genius engineers. And cats are like, dicks. They keep saying, "Look, lady, madam, we are your predator. You you've gone years thinking you have no predator. We are your fucking predator. Fair." Take the deal. They're like, hey, we've got a deal for you. Give us all your blood on your planet of the humans and we'll let you live like on this super boring spaceship forever. See, that wasn't really clear. Like, what? Wh where are they going to live? Where are they going to go? It's yeah, like... it's like, no, here you can like exist. <laughs> Yay. You know what? If my options were exist on a spaceship with no entertainment, no nothing, or die. I'm going to say die. So I'm like, yeah, lady, take the freaking deal. Oh, and also they kept saying, 
They kept saying we have to terraform Earth. Mm -hmm. Um, Terra is a word for Earth. Um, Also, Earth is already terraformed. So what they're saying in essence is we need to earthify Earth because it's not earthy enough. So our plan is to make Earth Earth. (laughs) And I wanted to kick somebody in the nuts at that point. So she's like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Yeah, I'll totally take that deal. I totally want to live on this spaceship, bored out of my mind for the rest of my life. Let's do this. Shake my hand. She holds her hand out like a fucking bug is supposed to know what a fucking handshake is. They don't even have hands. I did not like that part. It was, it was, it was awkward. It was awkward because I it's felt like, awkward. It was like, oh, lady, I don't know. But it was like, if I were a giant alien bug and a human was hand- holding out their hand, I'm going to know something's up because that's bullshit. Come on. This is all like a ruse, obviously, to poison this bug with this um, pandemic, whatever he called it. But I'm also, I'm going to have to call bullshit on this because there's no politician on earth that wouldn't take that deal even if it's just to exist on a stupid fucking ship that politician be like you want me to sell out my entire race just so i can survive absolutely fuck yeah do i get money too no because money doesn't exist anymore okay fine i will still take that deal as long as i'm the one that exists and is awesome forever bullshit this movie is lies (laughs) <laughs> I think this movie is fake is what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> well, one thing um, that was really uh, confused. <laughs> one of the things, wow, something in this music movie was confusing. <laughs> There's like, <laughs> um, the fact that once they gave the queen who didn't make contact with any other aliens, just all the aliens on all the other space, all the spaceships just started exploding. Don't you know how queens work? Once a queen is infected, um, stuff blows up, I guess. I don't really well, know. That's because insects go into the hive. <laughs> no, it's because uh, queens exist. <laughs> it's because um, pheromones are technology and space stuff. <clears throat> so now they're stuck in space on this spaceship. Like, how... What was the plan there? Like, they're on this spaceship in space. You don't know how spaceships... Oh, wait, they have pheromones, right? Pheromone navigational (sighs) systems. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so they're they're killing spaceships that are on Earth. And they they start calling them dragonflies. Did you notice that? Yeah. Like, yeah, I was like, what, what, what's the, where's the dragonflies? I don't yeah, see any dragonflies. They just call them dragonflies out of nowhere, and everyone knows what they're talking about. Yeah. And it's like, you can't you can't just introduce a new word and just Okay, so that wasn't us. me. I felt like I missed no, something. No, it was just all of a sudden it was like, oh, yeah, dragonfly, blah, blah, blah. What? 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 Hmm? <laughs> no, that's not how things work. Okay, so they did not mention that anytime earlier in the movie. Nope. It okay. was just all of a sudden, oh, yeah, dragonflies. Because I was clearly not on anything, and I kept (laughs) feeling that I was because I kept missing things. Okay, so now somehow, and I don't understand the correlation, but the president's spaceship, whatever one that was, is coming down to Earth, and you can see, like, uh, husband, senator, senator husband, and son, and someone else is looking up at something, and I'm guessing it's that spaceship because they don't really make that clear. (laughs) <laughs> senator husband yeah it was really that was very confusing and then like one of the dragonflies uh-huh, was uh-huh. like chasing it and then one of the pilots okay but we need to talk about senator husband for a minute because senator husband <laughs> no. the spaceship's coming and he's doing this senator husband is making a weird jerk off blow job motion <laughs> And I don't know why he's doing this. And he needs to not be doing this because it doesn't make any sense. Because he looked like a uh, uh, de- defamed senator uh, from <laughs> Oregon, Graham? Bob Pot- Packwood. Like, uh, 
back oh, in the I, 80s. I thought you were going to say Lindsay Graham and Ladybugs, but I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they land, blah, 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 jerk off motion. <laughs> um, a spaceship lands. And then uh, Madam President comes out. But she needs help walking for some reason. Did you see that? Yeah, that was that was what was going on. With I don't that. like all of a sudden she, I'm on Earth. I need help walking, but nobody else. Uh... And in conclusion, I have deemed this movie Randy Quaid's second favorite movie. The end. <laughs> Roll credits. But you you left out the part when Creepy Bobby looked like he was trying to kiss his mom on the neck. Because <laughs> he totally was. And that, yeah. that was like the most awkward, like, where like the actress is like breaking character, like, <laughs> <laughs> like cyanide, like, what's what's going on here? It's the alien he, DNA. Did he just grow up my ass? <laughs> he totally grabbed her ass. I missed that. It must have been like... You know, insects and incest, it's like the same word, practically. And so. it was roll credits. It was, just like, <laughs> it was just like, he was getting creepy. She's starting to look a little like, and I'm the trying not to look like I'm alarmed, but I think but I'm But then alarmed. the camera pans up as she looks terrified <laughs> of what her son is doing. And then very abruptly, credits. <laughs> yes. It was like, wait, that wait, was wait, it. Wait, <laughs> wow, what a romp. That was a, a lot of fun. Is there a second one? Do you know? I didn't even check. I don't know. I, I know that there's there's um a movie. I'm not sure if it ties in with some of the alien knockoffs. There's a Prometheus knockoff called uh, Alien Origin. Oh, oh. That kind of oh. had my eye. I put that in my queue. Oh, we'll have to watch that next time. Until then. Why don't you tell us your um your plugs again? Uh, um, currently I have on, on Bandcamp under uh, Gauntlet Music uh, two albums. One, uh, the Gauntlet Music Orchestra presents uh, music from Sonic Wastelands, which is uh, a soundtrack to 90s late night TV show, science fiction and horror shows that did not exist. And the other is uh, Cyborg Demon Plays Music for Lovers, which is just a <laughs> bunch of space drugs. Beautiful. Um, Travers, I'm really sorry about this. Um, thank you. <laughs> Those, there's uh, s- several hours of my life I will <laughs> <laughs> that I, I spent watching. But the thing is, um, I, I I would have probably, hopefully, watched. You would have. Come yeah. on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I would have too. I can't lie. I can't watch sci-fi channel anymore because the commercials are so bad, uh, which sucks because I love sci-fi channel because they show this type of shit. I, I have to, again, promote Pluto TV. They are. I love Pluto so much and they have an asylum channel and it's so good. It's it's not. It's horrible, but I love it so okay, much. So you can just like go to Asylum Channel and they're just playing some random... Yep. See, I love that because I like the yep. feeling of like... I, I I love old... I liked late night TV in the old mm-hmm. days because that's what you get. Yeah. Like you you get three channels. You got Xenon on one channel. You yep. got Silk Stockings on the other. Yeah. And Sweating Bullets on the other. Bro. Or maybe Earth Final Conflict. Some Red Shoe Diaries. Yeah, bro, you got to check out Pluto. It's everything and more. (laughs) It's the best. But I love like every time I check out Pluto and the Asylum channel on Pluto, I'm just like, fuck, yeah, I'm in for the night. This is good (laughs) in not a good way. And every movie has uh, Daryl Hannah. (laughs) A lot of them do have Daryl Hannah. Daryl Hannah fucking. Yeah, marathon. And there's quite a few Terminator knockoffs that are. Oh, that's right. So good. So oh, they good. Called, like, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> they, is it one of them even called like the Terminators? Yep. Like it's like yep. that bad. Yep. <laughs> oh. So good. No, that I think I put that in my list. I also put in my list um 
uh, Lord of the Elves. Oh, yeah. Which I read was actually supposed to be a knockoff of The Hobbit. <laughs> I'm sure that was great. Oh. It's not about Dio. No, no. It should be about Dio. I mean. Oh. Everything should be about Dio. It's true. Well, Travers, again, I apologize, but I also thank you. And I will see you soon for our next movie. Thank you for having Um, Have a good one. You too. And uh, keep it creepy. Okay, bye. (laughs)